dong. <laughs> now, I'm just checking in to see how the Greendale anti-drug players are doing. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 shows with the best running gags. God, Jerry, you can't even get your own name right. Actually, my real name is Gary. Gary? On my first day here, the old director, he called me Jerry, and I just didn't think I should correct him. No touching! No touching! No touching! No touching! Miss Hoover, there's a dog in the vent. Ralph. Remember the time you said Snagglepuss was outside? He was going to the bathroom. For this list, we'll be looking at television programs that have a talent for bringing back entertaining jokes again and again. What's your favorite running gag from a TV show? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, Community. Who would have thought a Spanish study group would spawn so many jokes? All right, look at this crew all ready to study all night. Fans of the show would often pick up on the recurring jokes throughout its run. The show is full of questionable fashion choices of Dean Pelton, the awes of Annie and Shirley, and excessive celebrity name rhyming. Well, 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 Harvey Keitel. Well, what do you know, Henry David Thoreau? My, oh my, Mike Ty. Son. Any one of these gags is enough to give fans immediate flashbacks to various points within the show, often understated. We're glad to see that the creators craft jokes for the audience that always put smiles on our faces. The staggering amount of ways the writers remix simple jokes, like Troy and Abed's morning show, is simply incredible. Troy and Abed in the morning. Welcome back. We've got a jam-packed show, so let's get started. Number nine, Parks and Recreation. If someone had told us we'd get a great comedy out of a municipal government department, we would have said you're crazy. Yet with only seven seasons, the show still amuses fans. When we look back at some of our favorite gags, the likes of Burt Macklin and Leslie's disdain for libraries stand out to us. Leslie! Are they finally teaching you parks people how to read? <laughs> oh, I guess not. It's a movie. You're pretty cocky for someone whose job is obsolete because of the internet. But there's plenty more to enjoy on the show that includes a popular horse named Little Sebastian and Jerry. Or is it Gary? I have some very important news about our favorite mini horse, Little Sebastian. Little Sebastian! He died last night. The ever so inappropriate City Hall murals also stand out as being both hysterical and obscene. No matter what the joke is, Parks and Rec gives us more than enough to keep us watching. This mural is called Bad Pawnee, Good Pawnee. All the terrible things that have happened in this town's history are on one side, and on the other side are all the good things that have happened. Number eight, The Big Bang Theory. Whether you've watched every episode or turned into the occasional rerun, you're bound to have heard of at least one of this show's running gags. With 12 seasons worth of content, you've undoubtedly heard Sheldon knock at Penny's door three times. Penny, Penny, Penny. Hey, Sheldon. Or maybe you cringed when Howard's mom would yell at him. We've heard Leonard and Sheldon argue over the nuances of their roommate agreement and laugh at Bernadette's high-pitched voice. Oh, Howard. <laughs> Whether you're a diehard fan or not, the likes of Soft Kitty and Bazinga are ingrained in our minds and never to be forgotten. Just come here, Bazinga. Number seven, Friends. The ability for an audience to connect to a show has always been rooted in the characters. If a viewer feels like they can relate to the people on screen, they come back time and time again. Part of that connection comes from the audience understanding the in-joke when presented. For Friends, when Ross exclaims, We were on a break! Or Chandler talks about his job, we feel like we're part of the group because we know the history behind these words. What is Chandler Bing's job? Joey's pickup line, Phoebe's terrible songs, and ugly naked guy's antics all help us feel closer to this tight-knit group of friends. Smelly cat, smelly cat, what are they feeding you? Everybody! Smelly cat, smelly cat. Number six, How I Met Your Mother. What do a yellow umbrella, going to the mall, and slap bets all have in common? They're some of the best running gags from How I Met Your Mother. <laughs> As the story of how Ted Mosby met the mother of his children stretched over nine seasons, we certainly got plenty of recurring jokes. 
Barney could sell a book where he talked about his suits or just list all of his various catchphrases. Wait for it. Whether we're cringing at another Robin Sparkles video or learning of a new doppelganger, there always seemed to be one more item to add to a growing list of series long jokes. Number 5. Arrested Development We suspect the folks over at Fox may have repeated one of Job's best catchphrases when they pulled the plug on this show back in 2006. I've made a huge mistake. The show garnered an even bigger audience when it went to Netflix and went on to earn two more seasons. When it comes to running gags, we don't even know where to start with this brilliant comedy. George Michael, meanwhile, had just been broken up with by his first girlfriend. Chicken dances, the stair car, and even the overuse of Europe's The Final Countdown are just a handful of gags splattered across the landscape that is Arrested Development. Buster. Thank you, Netflix, for giving us more of what we didn't know we needed. A chance to see Tobias fail at acting yet again. Oh my god! We're having a fire sale! Oh, the burning! It burns me! Number 4. Seinfeld In a sitcom about nothing, there's definitely something funny here that we recognize every time we watch it. While it was on the air, Seinfeld managed to find a way to keep viewers in the know with carefully planted recurring gags. Given Jerry Seinfeld's affinity for superheroes, it's not surprising a legend sprung up about Superman being referenced in every episode. While it turns out that that superhero rumor isn't true, that hasn't taken away from any of the other long-running jokes on the show. Elaine's favorite exclamation, <laughs> Kramer's wacky entrances, and George's obsession with speaking in the third person are all prime reasons why this show's humor is still remembered today. George is getting upset! Number 3. South Park This show has been on the air for more than 20 years. Long after Kenny stopped dying every week, it still managed to produce countless ongoing jokes that hardcore fans were eager to find. Oh my god! They killed Kenny! The early years saw plenty of episodes with Chef breaking out into song, aliens appearing in the background, and countless references to Star Trek. Here, let me sing your little song. It might clear things up. I'm gonna make love to you, woman. Gonna lay you down by the fire. As the show has aged, political humor and ridiculous moral monologues seem to keep those eagle-eyed fans happy. When the show finally has its curtain call, we hope the cast members blame Comedy Central with one quote. They took our job! Number 2. The Office It would be easy to say Michael Scott's signature comeback line was one of the most repeated quotes while The Office was on the air. That's what she said! <laughs> But that doesn't take away from the other running gags that started in Dunder Mifflin. Michael's undying hatred for Toby, all of Angela's cats, and the signature way Jim stared into the camera kept us all in stitches all the time. We could probably just rank Jim's pranks on Dwight alone. Identity theft is not a joke, Jim. Millions of families suffer every year. Michael! Oh, that's funny. Michael! Although this spot isn't the big tuna of our list, it still has more than enough enjoyable gags to make it worth the watch. That's it! Up? Yes, yes! Okay. If it don't hurt okay, me, here we go. Don't, don't hurt, hurt me. me. No more. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Modern Family. Please just get that step fixed already. Dad, get up here! On my what? Seriously, I just fixed that. Archer. Please watch your phrasing. Question. What? Are we not saying phrasing anymore? Which, that's fine, whatever, but if we're doing a new thing and nobody told me, that I'd have a problem with. Scrubs, what was the janitor's name again? That'll do it. Nice knowing you, John Dorian. It was nice knowing you too. What is your name? Glenn Matthews. Well, that was easy. Cheers. Everyone knew Norm's name. Hey, hey, buddy. No! Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Simpsons With 32 seasons, you know there's going to be plenty of running gags for fans to find. 
Some of these are pretty well known. Fan or not, you've likely seen the chalkboard or couch gags the show is famous for. Even the very location of Springfield itself has been an ongoing mystery that is likely to never be solved. Hey, Casey Jones, where's this train headed? Springfield! Yeah, yeah, what state? Hold music, penance, Homer's brain, Bart's prank phone calls, and Mr. Burns' utter ignorance of his employees' names are just a smidge of the ongoing humor that this show has produced since hitting the airwaves all the way back in 1989. Smithers, who is this nincompoop? Hmm. I've worked here for 10 years and my boss doesn't even know my name. Well, that's gonna change right now! My name is Homer J. Sip! Ow! Done. Mm. Sounded large when I ordered it. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.